Hello, we're in a beautiful part of the North Devon countryside today, which is the Hartman Peninsula. We're going to be doing the Elmscliff Walk, which takes in Dr. Mill and speaks as well, which is a fantastic waterfall. Um, if you want to find out some information about the actual walk itself, you can take a look in the Hartman Peninsula brochure or you can go onto their website and download the actual walks from there. So follow me, let's go and have a look round and I'll show you some of the main points of interest. See you in a bit. The Elmscote Walk itself starts from the Elmscote Farm Youth Hostel car park. This old converted schoolhouse is now a youth hostel and also offers a coffee shop to all its staying guests, enabling you to take some time out before or after you walk the route. From the car park, follow the road along the lane until you reach Postbox Cottage directly in front of you. Walk up the stairs behind the cottage and follow the path that takes you to the stile and the fields beyond. On the other side of the field, you'll join up with the road again, walking a gentle route that meanders through some picturesque farmland and beautiful woodland. Look out for the mosses, lichens and fauna. Eventually the walk brings you to the base of the valley at Limebridge and to Dockton Mill Gardens, open to the public from the 1st of March until the end of October. The mill has been beautifully restored and boasts a working water wheel. Dr. Mill have award-winning gardens and have been voted one of the best cream tea houses in Devon, so it's definitely worth a visit along the route. From the mill, cross the bridge and follow the handy route markers that take you over the stile and into the field. Then head for the decking specially created to help you cross one of the wetter parts of the walk. Then follow the track as it takes you down towards the coast and over the cattle grid, out into the open valley where you'll be greeted by some of the most spectacular views of the North Devon coastline. When you reach the coast, you can't help being impressed by Speaks Mill Waterfall, created by thousands of years worth of water plunging over the sheer cliff face and down onto the rocks below. If you look in the other direction, you can see Speaks Mill Bay with its signature combination of sand and rocks. The formation of the rocks and the bay itself make this an excellent location for surfing, with steps leading down onto the beach. Then you walk back to the signs for the coastal path, taking the footbridge across the stream and walking up through the valley towards the clifftop coastal path. When you reach the top you are greeted with some spectacular views out to Lundy and down onto the secluded bays and rocky outcrops. Then you turn back inland following a well signposted route that takes you back to the Elmscoot Farm Youth Hostel. Visit the website for more information about this and many other beautiful walks on the Heartland Peninsula and for information about the area, its attractions and the services offered. We look forward to welcoming you to Heartland and look forward to seeing you very soon. <laughs>